Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope you're all well. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these seed bead flowers. So this is what they look like up close. So they're made entirely from size 11 seed beads. And so to make one of these you're going to need your beading thread and beading needle. And I'm going to use between 25 and 30 inches of fire line. Depending on how you find working with like a short piece of thread at the end, I use 25 inches but I end up with quite a short piece of thread at the end so if you're not comfortable working with that I'd say cut more like 30 inches for each flower. And then you'll need your size 11 seed beads. So you need four colours, you need one for the centre of the flower and then three other colours and I do the lightest around the middle and then there's this slightly darker shade, there's only very few of those, and then the darkest on the outside edge. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to do three colours that contrast quite well. So they don't really go together, but just for the sake of the video. So if you wanted to do it like this, then I use three shades of the same colour, but lightest to darkest. So you need to thread your needle and then lay your colours out. So you've got your centre colour and then these are the colours that are going to be on the petal, petals. So lay them out lightest to darkest. So this is going to be colour one, colour two and colour three. But starting first with this centre colour, you're just going to pick up three of those and slide those down onto your thread, leaving just a few inches on the end to sew in at the end and then sew up through the first one, bring them together. This time we're going to pick up two of that same colour. Coming out of this one on the bottom, you're going to go up through this next one in the circle. Like that, picking up two. Coming out here and going down through the next one. Then picking up two more. And now you're coming out of this one, you're going to go into that first one, like that, so that you have this and you're coming out of this one at the bottom, now you need to move up into this one next to it, like that, so you're coming out of this bead right here. Now we're done with this colour now, starting with your first colour, you're going to pick up one of those, go straight down through the next bead, like that, picking up one, this time skipping that one underneath and going into the next one here on the top row. Picking up one, now we're between these two, you're going to go straight down through the next bead. Picking up one, this time again skipping over one and into the next one. Picking up one, coming out here, straight down through the next one. And last bead of the row. skipping over one, going through the next one, and then stepping up into that first one we added in this row. Like that. Pull that nice and tight, and you should have this. So we're going to be putting groups of two in between those six light pink beads that we just added. So picking up two, same colour still. Coming out of this one, you're going to go into the next one of your first colour. Picking up two, now I'm coming out of this one so I'm going to skip over to the next one. Pick up two and go through the next light pink, so you do that all the way around. So picking up two, through the next light pink, picking up two, through the next light pink 
and this is the last two of the round sticking up to through the next light pink and up into the one above as well okay pull that nice and tight now we've got this kind of wobbly shape at the moment okay sticking with the same color picking up two you're coming out of this bead here you go straight down through the one next to it and make sure that they stack nicely and nice and flat like that then picking up just one and you're coming out of this bead right here you're going to skip that one underneath and go through the next one on the top row or the outside row so we have this now you're going to pick up two and coming out of this one you're going to go straight down through the one right next to it again make sure that they stack nicely on top of the two below this time picking up one skipping over one and going through the next one now we're adding two again coming out of here and straight down through the next bead now picking up one coming out of this bead here skipping one and going through that next one on the top row now picking up two again and going straight down through the next bead this time picking up one skipping over one and going through the next bead picking up two this time and straight down through the next bead and then picking up one skipping over one and going through the next bead okay and picking up two and straight down through the next bead and then this is going to be the last bead of the row so picking up one skipping over one as always going through the next one and up into the one above as well so you're coming out here okay so you should have this okay so now sticking with that same color again for one more row picking up one you should be coming out the top of one of these groups of two so you've got six groups of two around the edge now so you're coming out here you're going to go straight down through the next one oops across through that bead in the middle and up through the first bead in the next group of two like that pull that through and then picking up one again and doing the same again so you're coming out here you're going down through the next one across through that one in the middle and up through the first bead in that next group of two okay pick it up one going straight down through the next one across through that single bead in the middle and up through first bead in the next group of two so you are doing that six times so picking up one, down through the next one, cross through the one in the middle and up through the one after that. Picking up one, down through the next one, across through the one in the middle, up through the first bead in the next group of two. And this is going to be our last one. So picking up one, same again, down through the next one cross through that one in the middle up through the next one like that and then so now we've already added that little bead on the top of this point but you don't want to go through that bead just through that top one and the groups of two again okay pull that nice and tight 
now you should have this and you should be coming out of you've got these like little points six of those you should be coming out of this bead on the side of one of those now we're done with that first color we're going to be using our second color now so picking up five of these so you're coming out of this one you're going to skip over this one on the top and go down through the one the other side of that point So you've got this, now you need to travel across through this bead in the middle and up into the next point through that bead on the side. Like that. So you should be in that same position again on this point that you're coming out of. This one on the side picking up five and again skipping over that one single bead on the top and going down through the one on the other side okay so you have that now again you're going to travel through this one and up into this one so you're ready to do the same again and you're going to do that one, two, three, four more times and then I'll show you what to do next. So once you've done that it should look like this so I don't know where you'll be coming out of but I'm just coming out of this one in the centre here but wherever you are you just need to move up into one of these little groups that you just added but you just want to be coming out of the first one of one of those groups of five. So position your thread so that that's where you're coming out of like that so you want to be coming out of that first bead in the group of five now you're going to pick up your third color so depending on what brand of seed bead you're using i know size 11 beads should all be the same but they do differ between different brands so sometimes i've had to pick up seven sometimes i've had to pick up eight for this next part so i'd say start by trying it with seven and if that's not enough and it's like you've got a gap and you know the beads are pulling in because there's not enough and um, then go back through and add eight instead so I'll show you what I mean so I'm going to start by but I know that this time these beads are smaller on the smaller side so I'm going to pick up eight of these But like I said, if you're using like a brand of seed bead where you think, yeah, these are a bit bigger, you might only need seven. You'll just have to kind of experiment. But anyway, you're coming out of this one. You're going to skip those three and go down through the last one of that group of five. So let's see. <laughs> Pull that down. And. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so you don't want so many beads that like your loops sitting away from the others so if you've added too many beads then you'll know but you don't want to not have enough beads that it's pulling in like this all the time so that's what i meant when i said you'll have to kind of experiment with the amount of beads you need for that part but usually seven or eight works okay so now you need to travel down through one across through this one up through two so that you're coming out right here so you're coming out of the first bead of the next group of five and do the same again so one two three four five six seven eight skipping the next three and going down through that last bead also going to go down through the one below as well because i'll need to anyway Pull that through, nice and tight, make sure that last bead pops into place. So we have this, so now you need to travel around again to the next one, do the same and do that one, two, three, four more times until they're all finished. 
hey, so I've gone around and done all of these. And actually, I said at the start about using like colours that didn't go together just for the sake of the video. But I actually really like these colours together. <laughs> I think it worked out quite nice. I know that this looks kind of white on the camera, but it is a very light pink in person. You can see the colour much more in person. Um, so that's it all finished basically. So if you wanted to attach it to a jump ring, you could either do that from in here in the centre or at the top of one of the petals and just attach a loop of beads with a jump ring, um, whatever you prefer. These would make really cute earrings. You could like string a few of them together as well to make like a statement earring. But I'm going to quickly show you how to tie off your thread once you've finished. So I've moved down so that I'm near this like bridge in the middle. So I'm coming out of this bead here. And I'm just going to take my needle under these threads and kind of catch all those threads that connect my bead to the next one. Pull that through and then go through the loop twice to make it secure. Pull it down until you feel it tighten into a knot and then always move away from your knot before you cut your thread. But I'll probably tie a couple more knots and then cut off my thread. And then you can thread your needle onto your tail thread and do the same with that as well and then we'll be all finished. So that's the finished flower. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is what they turned out like. So especially from afar, I think they have a really kind of striking effect. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and comment down below anything else you'd like to see from me and like this video if you did enjoy and subscribe to see more of my videos and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified when I upload. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram at Beading by Hannah. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye.